Hello, I'm Mark from Bosworth Property Marrakesh, and this morning we find ourselves in Babelan, a really lovely, authentic part of the Medina, quite easy access, nice car park outside, uh, lovely Riyadh, recently restored and absolutely ready to live in. Let me uh, show you the courtyard. Really nice, bright house. There is actually a uh, plastic cover over the courtyard, not that you'd know. Uh, still very, very bright in here. Classical arches, the balconies around. It's a really nice use of the space. This house is, in fact, a little bigger than the numbers suggest. There's 127 square meters of footprint, but the first floor of the house goes right across the archway on the street, so it's a bit bigger in reality. Follow me through and I'll show you the dining room. Plenty of space. That's a six seat dining table. Lovely beige mat floors, little bar in the corner. And unusually for some of the Riyads, this one has a really nice fitted kitchen. Marble work surfaces, all the units custom made. And in the corner there, it's a really nice touch, there's a dumb waiter to take your, uh, your meals up to the roof terrace. Let me show you the rest of the ground floor. This is the salon, very traditional, narrow room, lovely Bill Willis inspired fireplace, big thick walls, very traditional room, television at the other end there, very cosy. And if you follow me back into the uh, entrance hall, there's a little bit of a surprise. There's a, a really traditional hammam here. This is properly heated. So Moroccan version of a sauna. Really, really lovely touch. Vaulted ceiling, unusual. It's something you find in really big Riyads, but not very often in a house of this size. Let me show you upstairs. So here we are on the first floor. Uh, you start off with this really spacious balcony overlooking the courtyard. It's a really pretty house, this. Uh, lots of lovely period features. The double doors, the balconies, the wrought iron. And then this is the, the master bedroom. Lovely big bed. The base of that is actually masonry that's built in. Uh, polished Tedlect floors. And in this room, they've got these beautiful uh, blue and white tiles set into the Tedlect, really nice detail. There's 40 fitted wardrobes. This is a house that's actually been lived in as a full-time home. And it does show there's some attention to detail here, which might occasionally be lacking in something that's been a holiday home or an Airbnb let. Uh, spectacular bathroom, blue Tedelect. Follow me and I'll show you the other two bedrooms. So three double rooms here, all a nice size, all of them with ensuite bathrooms. So if you did want to exploit the short-term letting potential, this would be uh, very remunerative. Wonderful keyhole arches, very typical Moroccan architectural feature, but very pretty. The second bedroom, traditional double doors.
nice big spacious double room. They're all air conditioned incidentally. And then you've got an ensuite bathroom, headlight finishes, nice uh, handmade brass taps and hand basin. Wonderful attention to detail. And we have another one. Another nice big room, ensuite bathroom. They're all doubles. I would guess that if you put this house up on Airbnb at 150 euros a night, you would be extremely busy. Let me show you the roof terrace. So here we are on the roof terrace. Lots and lots of space up here. This is this plastic cover over the courtyard that I was talking about earlier. A nice dining, entertaining space. There is also a little room up here, a utility space that's got washing machine and that type of thing in it. This is the top of the uh, roof light from the bathrooms below. And the dumb waiter in the corner, just so you can send your meals and drinks up from the kitchen. There's not a sensational view from this terrace, but there's a great deal of privacy. You're not really overlooked by any of the neighbors. So, to sum up, this house, there's a 127 square meter footprint, but that is misleading. On the first floor, the space is probably closer to 140 or 150 square meters. Three really good double ensuite bedrooms. It's architecturally beautiful, it's very, very nicely laid out. It's in a really authentic area of the Medina. Asking price here, 330,000 euros, which I think makes it a bargain. Call us now. <laughs>